Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing the menu for our 5M server, all right? That's a trainer for uh, your server on 5M. So of course the main requirement that you are going to need is going to be 5M, all right? We will not be installing 5M today or creating a new server, but I will have a link in the description to a video showing you how to install 5M and also how to create your own server. So make sure you go and check that out in the description if you do not have 5M installed already, all right? So once you get down to this link right here, that will lead you to GitHub and it will lead you to V menu releases. All right. Once you get here, you will see a bunch of older releases as well. And I will leave this link specifically in the description so that anytime you see this video, you come to this page and you want to select the latest release. Okay. So right now at this point in time that I'm shooting this video, the latest release for V menu is V313. All right. So once you get to this link, you want to check out the description right here and then you want to scroll down and you want to select V menu V313 zip. Okay. You select the zip to download. All right. Once you have this downloaded and you have your 5M installed and you have your server all set up. On my left hand side, I have a folder with just one download, which is V menu V313. All right. And on my right hand side, I have my server uh, opened up right here. Um, now, from this point, what we want to do is go to our resource folder. Okay, so go ahead and open up your resources folder. All right, now that we have that open, let's go back over to our V menu. All right, let's open up the V menu V313 folder. Inside that folder is going to have everything that we need, all right? And it's also going to have a README, all right? Now, when you open up the README, there's going to be very important information in here. I suggest that uh, everybody pays attention to uh, the README right here. Um, go ahead and read this for yourself all the way through, but we are going to get straight to the installation page, which is going to be under hashtag installation. And it's going to have a link right here to the installation page. This link right here will lead you to this page right here, which is the V menu documentation installation. It also has some other uh, categories under here also. All right. So this one right here is going to have the installation steps that we are going to be following as we install V menu. Okay. So we'll be reflecting back to this when uh, we get down to our server CFG. All right. Now let's select back. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop this whole complete V menu V313 folder into our resources. So just like I'm doing right now, drag and drop into your resources folder. All right. Now you should see it down here at the bottom. Now do like how I'm doing. I want you to erase the dash V3.1.3. We're just going to get rid of that. We wanted to say V menu by itself, just like I have it right here with a lowercase V, a capital M in lowercase E N U. All right. So you wanted to say V menu, just how I have it right here. Okay. Once you have that all done, let's go ahead and select back so we could go back to our server um, directory right here. And we want to scroll down and now we want to find our server CFG file. Let's go ahead and open that up. Once your server CFG file is open up, we're going to leave it right here. Okay. Now let's go back to that installation page. Now the installation page right here is going to uh, tell us if you go down to number four right here, it's going to tell us to take this part right here that I'm highlighting and copy it. You can just go ahead and select this little uh, icon right here, this uh, clipboard, and it will automatically copy it to your clipboard. Once that is copied, go back to your server CFG window right here. Go all the way at the top, select the cursor right there, and uh, just press enter twice. Go up with the arrow key twice, 
and then we are going to paste what we copied earlier so you should have exec permissions.cfg all right once you have that let's go down to the end of our resource list this is my resource list right here and uh, whatever your resource list starts with you can either start it with start or ensure since all mines are um, initiated with ensure I'm just going to go ahead and keep ensure if yours all say start then start it with start all right so ensure or start and then you want to put V menu okay you want to have it exactly the same way like it says on the folder just go ahead and put V menu ensure or start V menu once you have that done you can go ahead and select file and then save all right file save now we can exit out of our uh, server CFG window now that that is done let's go back to our server uh, directory right here and let's go into our resources folder one more time now let's scroll all the way down to our V menu folder open up the V menu folder now let's go to our config, config folder all right open up your config folder inside that folder is going to be this permissions CFG file all right what we want to do is go ahead and copy that file copy it so make sure you copy this permissions file right here now what we want to do is go back to our server directory all right I am back in my server directory and it's the same place where my server CFG is at okay so you want to paste that permissions CFG we just copied you want to paste it right here in the same place that your server CFG is at. As you can see, there's go there is my permissions that I just copied and I pasted it right here next to my server CFG. All right, so you want to have your permissions in the same folder your server CFG is at. All right. Once that is done, um, we are all good to go. Okay, so now we have our V menu added on to our our uh, server CFG we also have the permissions added into our server CFG so now we're all good to go let's go ahead and go inside of our cache in our FX server or, or inside of our server whatever your server is at go inside your cache folder make sure that it is empty okay you always want to make sure your cache is empty before you run your server once you have done that go ahead and run it and I will see you in the game all right, once you get inside of um, the server, what you want to do is uh, press select on your uh, controller or press M on the keyboard to open up the menu. All right, you're going to have to uh, press and hold select on your controller um, if you use the controller to open it or press M on the keyboard. Once you open it up, it will say V menu. Um, as you can see, I already had mine and I edited it and I made it games and graphics, but for your first time installing it, it's going to say V menu. All right. We're not going to be going through all of the features, but um, I'll just go through the categories right here. You have a category where you can see the uh, players, online players right here. And um, you also have uh, the band players, then you got the player related options and also the vehicle related options, world related options, voice chat settings and recording options. All right. So the, that's pretty much it right here. I'll probably do another video going through all the specifics and the features of the menu and stuff like that. I just don't want to make this video uh, too lengthy. Just wanted to get short, straight to the point. You know what I mean? So um, if this video helped y'all out to install V menu, or if y'all just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for your boy and uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5 or 5M. This is Games and Graphics. I'm out of here till next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.